Hey guys, Will here with Cray Studio, and in this video, we're going to showcase how to use review scenes inside of Cray Studio 3. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in here and take a look. So I've already got a promo scene already laid out, and I'm showcasing a hotel, showing where it's located, some of the amenities that it offers, and I want to add some reviews on these last three scenes here to kind of showcase and give the perception that this hotel is a great place to stay. So what I can do is I can go to my studio section, I can navigate down to social media, and then on my categories, I'm going to filter out until it says reviews. Now I'm going to go ahead and drag in one of these to start. But if you haven't downloaded some of these assets before, you'll just go and click on the download icon there in the bottom right. And then once that's downloaded, you'll be able to access and use that asset in your session. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and drag this Trustpilot one right onto my canvas here, and it's going to populate the review there for me there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up with this first scene seven that I've got. And I'm also going to trim it so that it's ends right before scene eight begins, right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and just size it up here and you can move it around. You can also readjust the size and do things like that. All right, so I've got it in a good spot. Now, if I select it on the settings here, I can then go in and quickly edit and adjust this review scene to make it my own. So the first thing I wanna do is let's go ahead and replace our profile picture. So if I go over here with my review scene selected on the right-hand side under settings, you'll see that here is where you can replace all of your features. So let's go ahead and go to the pick and let's hit replace and it'll take me to my media and I will go ahead and replace it with this picture here. And then you can easily go in and change the name. So let's just call this guy Will. And then on my review part, I can actually change all the text altogether, right? So if I come in here, hit paste, and then it can say my recent stay, oh, we got a little gap there, exceeded all expectations from this impeccable setting reviews, right? So you get the idea. So I'm adding all of my review scenes and customizing it to make it and fit the need that I need to for my product. All right, and then I can say verify by Trustpilot, um, which I can just leave there. And then of course, um, you can change the color of the box if you need to, all right? So if you wanna make it a different color, you can always drag and change it there, but we'll just keep it white for now. All right, so that is how you can quickly edit that type of review scene. All right, so now let's check out a second example. Okay, so for this next one, let's go ahead and go back to our studio section and I'm gonna go ahead and drag in this review scene right here, this booking.com style um, review, right? So I'm gonna drag that in and then I'm gonna go ahead and line that up. I'm gonna put this towards, so it'll come in right at the end of that one. And then we will then uh, have this guy end right before scene nine begins there. All right, so if I pull my cursor over, you'll see that's how it animates in there. And of course, I'm gonna go ahead and with this scene selected, I'm gonna click and drag and move it and recenter it. And I'm also gonna scale it up just a little bit and then we'll put it about right there. Sorry, looking looking pretty good. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is let's go ahead and change that logo, right? Let's get it to match the hotel review. So I'm gonna go ahead and you don't see one in here, but what you can do is you can go into your uh, easy edit properties and these are located right here in the bottom right next to your mask. Looks like a little gear icon. So I open that up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, add this available properties to my easy edit property. So now when I come back, you'll see here is my image that I can then quickly and easily replace. So I'm gonna go ahead and click replace and it's gonna take me to my assets and I'm gonna go ahead and choose my Imperium logo here. All right, so I've got that logo replaced. Really awesome and easy to do inside of Create Studio 3. Now I can go up to my title here and right now it says rating. So you know we'll go ahead and leave rating the same, but if you do wanna change that, this is where you could do that. And then if you click on title, this is where you can adjust your fonts your colors, your alignments, your spacing, all that good stuff is right here inside of by clicking on the actual title name next to the box itself. All right, now for my reviews, maybe instead of 134 reviews, I have 256 reviews. All right, so then you can see it updates and changes there. And maybe my rating out of 256 reviews is a 9.3. All right, so that's looking pretty good. And again, from here, maybe we didn't want the rating to be black. You can come in here and change the color and we can make it something else if we wanted to, right? Let's go ahead and keep it there. All right, and now our progress bar is this guy right here. So I could change that um, to a different color. So maybe we want this to be a, let's go ahead and do this and let's choose this kind of gold looking color there. All right, so that'll change my progress as well as the background on my logo there. Um, and then your bar is the white bar underneath. So how do I want that to look? See how it comes in. I can leave it white or I can change the color. That's where you can do that. And of course, you can always change the color of your review box by selecting your review box and then choosing the color hue that you want and then finding that color that matches. But I think white works for us right now. 
All right, so again, that's a very fast and efficient way to add reviews to a promo or a scene that you do have. Now let's go over one more third example. Okay, so for this one, again, we're gonna go back to our studio section and I'm gonna go ahead and choose this pop-up style uh, scene review and drag it onto my canvas here. And then just like before, I'm gonna line it up so it starts at the end of my second review scene and then it's going to end right before this next little scene here begins, right right before scene 10 begins. All right, so now if I, if I scroll through it, see what it looks like. You see, it's a nice little pop-up style review that goes over my background clips there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move this guy and let's center it up to about right there. And then I'll kind of just, let's make him a little smaller there. There we go, perfect. All right, so I've got it aligned and ready to go. Now I'm ready to edit this and make it my own, right? So again, with this scene selected, let's go ahead and zoom in here. Um, and let's go to this way a little bit. We can then go ahead and change the name, right? So the name is Tierra B, let's go ahead and make that Will. And you know, in here is where we can delete the text we have in here and I can put in some new review lines. So this is my new line, I had an unforgettable stay, this re environment, ten of staff, right? So it tells me I'm giving my own opinion, right? So this verifies um, to people wanting to book this hotel, what kind of um, you know experience I had. And then of course, I'm a verified customer, but you could change this if you wanted to. And then of course, you do have the option to change your verified green logo. So we could change this to a black um, or a green, you know, maybe we can, maybe we can make it like a little, little black right there. All right. And then from there, we can also change the verified customer text itself. So if I come here, we can change the color from green and we can make it a little more, you know, we can just kind of be, um, you know, let's, let's give it, let's see what red looks like. There you go. So I can change the color there. And then if you wanted to change the text a color for your review uh, text itself, you could just click on review and then it'll open up all the properties, change the fonts, change the colors, alignment, all that good stuff. And then of course we could change the stars color. So if we come here, we can then, um, I can select this specific red that we got going on there. Oh, I didn't think I got it. But if I go back here, uh, yeah, I can punch in a little bit and grab it. There we go. So I've got a matching red to go with my verified customer font. And then if you wanted to change the color of the box, you could click on the box color right here and then always change it there um, to whatever hue you want. Um, but let's stick with white, so it kind of pops out. And then of course, this October 6th date, we didn't change there, but we can go there, change the color and have it match our stars here. So there we go. So now I've got like a matching review. We've customized it, made it our own. It's that fast and efficient inside of Create Studio 3. I right, hope that you got some really cool quick tips out of here. Can't wait to see what y'all create. I'll catch you on the next tutorial.